America on Two Wheels is brought to you by Star Motorcycles. We build it, you make it your own. Introducing the all-new Bolt and Bolt R-Spec, available now at your local Star Motorcycles dealer. And by Livingston Parish, come ride Louisiana's Mother Road, Louisiana Highway 22. Also brought to you by St. Bernard Parish, where real adventure begins. And Homa, Louisiana, your passport to adventure in the heart of Louisiana's wetlands. The state of Louisiana is divided into 64 parishes, or counties, but there's one parish that's known simply as the parish, and that's St. Bernard Parish, a place that's rich in history, culture, and food. And oh yeah, great fishing. And it's our next stop on our Bayou Country Tour. arrived at the camp in Da Parish for a few days of rest and relaxation and from what I hear some great fishing. I'm so excited I can't wait to get out on the water. coffee. Yeah, I'm going to take my coffee on the... We're we going on a boat or a ship? <laughs> <laughs> or a yacht? Well, I guess we'll find out. I'm going to take my coffee and kick back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> this is a lot of fish. I think I can catch more than that. Clean, but I may need some help cleaning that many. This is what I want to catch. I want to catch this, like, like this one. This is a bull red, he said. I want to catch a big one like that. I'm not even sure I could lift that. Good morning, Captain Good morning. Casey. How you doing this morning? I'm good. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go catch a fish. Let's catch the big one. You're going to do that. All right. <laughs> Do we have a, a rear view mirror? <laughs> uh, I want to make sure the fish see me coming. There you go. All right. I'm good to go. I'm just like this bending my pole. I just have to wrestle it. It takes all my strength. Okay. I to the I want one that big. I want to have to battle it for hours to land it. Ooh, I don't know if we're gonna go that far. <laughs> <laughs> well, as much time as we have anyway. It'll have to give up at some point. Set hours, we can set up five, ten minutes. Yeah, that should wear me out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
the fish that uh, are they hungry better? Yeah. <laughs> you got what they call a morning bite and an evening bite. Oh, what time's the evening bite? That would be kind of that would be kind of more my like space. The last two hours about cocktail time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd just like to come sit out here. This is so nice and quiet. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you'd have to go out. This is nice. You'd need to go out further out to the islands. Oh you'd God. love it out there. This was wonderful. You get out on a sand beach and you could walk for miles. Really? Oh, how fun. Just make sure this is up right here where you can grab the string with your right. finger. Right, okay. Remember that. Put this back. That. And then you just let it go. And once Where's it hits, it? There we go. Okay. once it hits, you just flip it back. And every so often, you see how? Uh -huh. Make sure that thing pops like that. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna get another one. We'll fish with you. If it goes under, remember. <clears throat> oh, it went under. Get him! Get him! GW! Oh get, him. get him! Oh my GW. gosh! Get him! Oh, jeez, I'm. Come on, GW! Come on! Oh my gosh! Now, go down with it now! Come on! Woo! Oh my god! Look at that! He's on the floor. Oh my god! I'm sorry! <laughs> I was too excited! Oh. Oh gosh. Oh my god. I can't even turn this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh. You got your ball. Oh my goodness. Way to go. He is like you run again, I got nothing left. Boy, this line has to be strong for something this big. No, you can't. You can't, mister. of that thing. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, no wonder. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, that has to be a thousand pounds. <laughs> Look at that. He's a beauty though. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. All right. <laughs> I am whipped. Okay, that's the end of my fishing day. Thank good, goodness Captain Casey's here to hold it up for me. <laughs> you can't hold them more. No, my goodness, my arm is worn out. Oh my gosh. This was a great fishing trip. I enjoyed it. The weather was perfect. The, I had a great guide. The, I mean, it was just a beautiful day for fishing. And what better place to do it? I mean, I didn't know all this was out here. It's just wonderful and the fish were biting boy I couldn't ask for more than that and right at the very end was a big one <laughs>
just to end the day. Ah, very successful. Now I just need somebody to clean them and cook them. Another gorgeous day in St. Bernard Parish. Well, my fishing trip had been successful, so day two was going to be devoted to learning more about this beautiful place. They call St. Bernard Parish New Orleans' most historic neighbor, and there's a really good reason. Although it's located right next door to Louisiana's most famous city, St. Bernard Parish is rich in a culture, history, and tradition all its own. Most of us think of New Orleans as French. St. Bernard, however, is anything but French. In fact, it was settled by Spanish-speaking Canary Islanders and named for the patron saint of Spanish governor, Bernardo de Galvez. I was curious how a place so near New Orleans could be so different. So I stopped in at the Los Isleños Museum to learn more about the history and culture of the place most people call the parish. Hi, T.W., how are you today? All right. I'm so looking forward to this tour. Okay, well, come on in and uh, I'll start the tour with you inside. The exhibit on the right as we go in the museum is going to be about the Canary Islands, uh, how they lived then up until today. These costumes which you see here, they are costumes that they use in festivals and things like that, and fiestas, you know. Uh, in the Canary Islands. They represent, sometimes they represent different islands, sometimes they represent different villages. This pottery which you see down here is called Guanche pottery. Guanches was the indigenous people of the Canary Islands. Their main uh, way of making a living was trapping muskrat, which you see some pictures here. These boats were very slow, so they would go out there in the month of November and, more, you know, burn the marsh and then get it ready for trapping and we'd live out there till March, till the trapping season is over with. This is Los Isleños Museum complex. The facility consists of nine historic and reconstructed buildings, a nature trail, and 22 acres of wetlands. And of course, it lies along the banks of Bayou Tejo Bear. The purpose of the complex is to interpret the history and the cultural identity of the Canary Islanders colonists from Spain who settled in Louisiana between 1778 and 1783 and founded the parish of St. Bernard in 1780. We want to interpret the island people, we want to explain their origin in the islands, and then we want to explain also here how their cultural identity evolved after their arrival here. The Isleños also played an important role in one of the biggest historical events to take place in this region, the Battle of New Orleans. A battle that actually took place in Chalmette, which of course is in St. Bernard Parish. A visit to the Chalmette battlefield was next on my list as I explored the rich history and culture of this incredible part of South Louisiana. In early January 1815, a ragtag, poorly equipped group of American soldiers, citizen volunteers, fishermen and trappers under the leadership of General Andrew Jackson, repelled an overwhelming force of British troops intent on capturing New Orleans and taking control of the newly acquired Louisiana Territory. It was the final battle of the War of 1812 and one of the most significant land battles in American history. 190 years after the famous Chalmette battle preserved and protected the city of New Orleans, 
Another historical event of incredible magnitude almost wiped her away. When Hurricane Katrina's floodwaters pushed across the region in August of 2005, they entered along the very body of water I had traveled on my fishing trip the day before. As we headed out of the dock and into the Mississippi River Gulf outlet that morning, Captain Casey pointed out the small cross and monument commemorating that awful event, an event that literally laid waste to Lower St. Bernard Parish. The next day, I steered Black Beauty back to that spot for a closer look at the Katrina Monument. We hear a lot about how bad New Orleans was hit by Hurricane Katrina, but this part of St. Bernard Parish took the brunt of the wind and the water. There are 163 names on this memorial at the end of the road at Shell Beach. Despite the fact that nearly every structure in this part of the parish was either destroyed or severely damaged, the people of St. Bernard Parish have persevered, rebuilding their community, their lives, and their livelihoods. Today, St. Bernard, like its big sister next door, is thriving once again. Flood protection has been beefed up and the Gulf Outlet, or Mr. Go, has been closed. An extensive array of concrete walls and gates now protect the parish from future storms. But the memory of what happened here in August of 2005 lives on. Now you know in a place like St. Bernard, there has to be incredible food. After all, there's all that fresh seafood, Spanish culture, and New Orleans right next door. You know it has to be good. Well, Mimi is a term of endearment for a grandmother. And I am a grandmother as well as my sister-in-law, and we're partners. Um, so our, our grandchildren call us Mimi, so we couldn't come up with a better name to make us both proud other than Mimi. Our chef is Lincoln Owens. He's actually from Ohio. Uh, he transplanted himself to Los Angeles with work and um, in a different career and decided to go to culinary school and went to the Cordon Bleu in Los Angeles and graduated and went to work at the Peninsula Hotel in LA and was there for almost 10 years and then uh, fell in love with a New Orleans native, more particularly someone from Araby, Louisiana and uh, they fell in love and they moved back to Araby and he went to work for Emerald Lagasse and then uh, he left Emerald's and went to work at Cafe B's on Metairie Road um, to help open that facility I guess it's been two years ago well it's over it's over two years ago because we're here for 16 months and we were so blessed to get him he is extremely extremely talented Oh, I've never met a bread pudding that I didn't like. Oh my goodness, especially when it had white chocolate in the name. <laughs> oh, I better get a smaller bite.
white chocolate bread pudding. The perfect ending to a perfect meal. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can taste that chocolate in there. This is fabulous. Mm. I'm going to sleep good tonight. America on Two Wheels is brought to you by Star Motorcycles. We build it, you make it your own. Introducing the all-new Bolt and Bolt R-Spec, available now at your local Star Motorcycles dealer. And by Livingston Parish. Come ride Louisiana's Mother Road, Louisiana Highway 22. Also brought to you by St. Bernard Parish, where real adventure begins. And Homa, Louisiana, your passport to adventure in the heart of Louisiana's wetlands. God bless chrome cowgirls like us.